I'd like to explain a little bit about the device I created. Um, it's about boiling eggs, which normally is a fairly one-dimensional thing. You put the egg in water, uh, apply a heat source, and then set a time for it to boil. And that is exactly what I don't want to do. I don't want to set a time. I want to determine whether my egg needs to be soft or hard. Um, and that's a traditional problem with all the egg boilers I know. So, what I determined to do is um, boil it by the weight of the egg. Because the heavier the egg, the longer the boil time. Right? Um, the boil time itself is determined by, first, how hard do I want it to be. But second, of course, the weight of the egg. Right? And a third, um, there's also a lag time until the, the water actually boils. Now, put those together, you get a boil time. And the only thing I need to do is boil the egg for the time I found. So what do we need? We need uh, an actuator. We need something to heat the water. That we can switch electronically with um, a solid staple there of some kind. And of course we need some sort of sensor to measure the water level. Well, I happen to have a capacitance meter which is handy for measuring the water level so it doesn't cook dry. And of course inserting the egg will raise the level. We need some intelligence and of course an egg. So let's take a look at the states that this device has. Um, from the starting state, first thing it does is it goes to a state where it says um, fill some water, um, which we need to, to boil the egg with, of course. Um, when there's enough water, which is roughly the half of the, the maximum level, it will tell you to insert an egg. Um, by inserting the, the egg, what happens is the water level rises and the diff of the original level and the next level will determine the weight of the egg. So, since the lag time to boil is a given, the only thing I need to know now is how hard or soft do I want my egg to be boiled. When I have determined that on the device, um, next step of course is to boil it using the heuristic that I determined. Um, after that is done, we go to the next state which tells me to remove the egg. Um, and after that we are back in starting state. There is one exception to this state machine, which is that we need to know the maximum level of water in order to um, establish differences. So what I'll do is, if there's no maximum set, it will go to a calibration state where it determines the maximum level of water and the minimum level. And from there we'll go to the fill state. So let's take a look at the device itself. Uh, the thing here in the middle is my solid state lamp, which we use to switch the heater on. Um, to protect the innocent, what I used is this little boil thing, this little heater, it's only 300 watts. So it'll take a while for it to actually boil the water. The straw is the capacitance uh, sensor. Now, initial state is telling you to go and insert water till maximum. This is actually the calibration state. It determined that it has no maximum set. So, what we'll do is We'll take the water I have ready and insert that into the device. Um, please ignore the way it looks, this, this is just a prototype, right? Um, insert into the device till the, the very maximum. And then um, we hit a button because um, there's no way I can determine this by sensor, right? Now we hit the button and um, it will now tell me to remove the water because it knows the maximum it is now in the starting state so let's get rid of the water there we go this is a bit difficult to do with one hand so bear with me right. also since this is um, high voltage I don't want to spill any water here right? 
There we go. All right. So the blank screen is now telling me that it's waiting for me. Um, it's in a starting state, it's just measuring around for me to insert water. So um, what you saw before was calibrating. We're now doing the actual work. So. Um, Let's insert some water. I'll not go up to the maximum, just just enough for it to boil and not go dry. There we go. That should do the trick. Now, if we now go back to um, the device, right, it will now tell me to go and insert an egg. There you go. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Now, look what happens if I insert the egg. See the original level? Insert the egg. Levels higher. There you go. So now we do that. The machine has measured level before or level after. It knows enough to apply a heuristic. So the only thing it, um, it needs to know for that heuristic is how well I need my egg to be boiled. So we'll switch it around. Uh, very soft is my type of egg. Soft, not hard, seems the right deal. I press OK and it starts counting. Um, because I use this lowly boiler, uh, it will actually take 70 minutes. So uh, we're not going to wait for that. Go to insert a little break. So. Okay, we're back. One minute left. Almost one minute. If you look at the device now, you'll see it's happily boiling around. There we go. Uh, please ignore the foam. That's from the glue that I used for the sensor. Um, which also means I'm not going to eat this egg. But oh well. Right, so it's boiling, still boiling. We have a few seconds left, I guess. There we go. Right, now let's switch off here. Cool. We're done boiling. If you look closely, you still see that water is pretty hot. Um, have to be careful here. Go back to the device. It tells me to go remove the egg um, and the water, because if not, I'll burn my hands, right? So let's try to do that. As you can see, um, I skipped something because removing hot water with one hand is not really easy to do. The device is back in starting state, the filled water state, right? So let's get, let's get rid of this egg. Okay, that's actually pretty hot. Now let's look inside. It's very hot. Let's try again. And this is impossible to do with one hand, I'm afraid. Okay, so you have to believe me and my word. Um, did this with two hands, a little easier. Peer around to the egg, it looks actually pretty well boiled, right? Not too hard, not too soft. There we go. So, that was my device.